We often talk about the latest and greatest graphics cards and playing games at the highest settings, but there are times when that's simply not an option. In times like these, it's nice to have a library of fun games that won't melt our processors and that are friendly for low-end PCs and laptops with integrated GPUs. Even if your hardware is a few years old, most of these titles will work just fine. This is David with TechSpot, and this is part one of our list of great games to play on laptops and low-end budget PCs. Oxenfree. Oxenfree is a must-have on any system. Thanks to its minimalistic yet stunning graphics and animation designed by Disney alumni, it is ideal for your older laptop. You play as Alex, a teenage girl on an overnight excursion with friends to a mysterious island that used to be a World War II military base. The kids accidentally open a spirit gate and encounter ghosts and discover otherworldly messages from the past. The real draw of the game is the conversation system, as every conversation can change the course of the narrative. You will spend the majority of the time exploring the island and trying to find a way to close the ghostly rift. The puzzle elements are challenging, but not too hard. The gameplay might not be everyone's cup of tea, but the story is really what drives the game. FTL Faster Than Light As its name implies, FTL puts you at the helm of your own faster than light starship. The game plays from a top-down perspective, and your overarching mission is to deliver data to the Federation. But you will have many encounters along the way, some friendly and most not so friendly. As you jump at light speed from system to system, you will have a rebel fleet dogging your trail. If it catches up to you, your ship will be destroyed. FTL battles take place in real time, but you can pause to strategize and give your crew commands. The game is very challenging, even on easy difficulty, because every game is randomly generated. We played for 27 hours and were never able to reach the Federation, but every playthrough was unique and fun. Factorio. Factorio is in a way similar to SimCity, except instead of building streets and buildings, you create conveyor belts and factories. You will collect resources and construct everything by hand at first, but as you progress, the factories will become more and more complex and automated. However, building a massive manufacturing empire while raping the world of resources makes enemies with the alien populace. Eventually, you will have to fend off attacking foes using turrets, tanks, and various other weapons. Borderlands. When first-person shooter Borderlands launched in 2009, developer Gearbox marketed it as having 87 bazillion different guns. In actuality, the game is capable of randomly generating over 3.5 million variations with different attributes, but who's counting? While primarily a shooter, the game has a rich RPG-like character development, each with unique abilities and skill trees. These elements combine with vehicular combat, open-world environment, a multitude of side quests, an adaptive four-player multiplayer co-op makes Borderlands a title that you can revisit multiple times with each new playthrough seeming fresh. Untitled Goose Game In the Untitled Goose Game, players assume the role of a pesky town goose. The town is split up into sections with each having a set of missions or tasks to complete, like stealing items or tricking villagers into doing something. The game combines stealth and puzzle elements. With this simplistic graphics, it's easy to let this game fly under your radar, but gameplay is fun and silly enough to make it a good pick for lower end systems. Its only real flaw is that it's too short. Most players can complete it in a couple of hours. Hotline Miami Hotline Miami is a top-down shooter sent in 1989. Missions begin with a phone message that has protagonist Jacket facing off with a Russian Mafia operation. The goal is always to gruesomely eliminate all the bad guys in that location. Starting each stage unarmed, Jacket must use stealth, at least until he finds a gun or melee weapon. While it is an action game, it's also somewhat puzzle-oriented in that players must figure out how to complete areas without being killed, which is not easy. Retro graphics combined with its 1980s-inspired soundtrack give it an almost GTA Vice City vibe. Its structure makes it great for playing a short burst. Cuphead Despite its cartoonish, beautiful graphics, Cuphead is one of the more taxing games on the list, both on your hardware and your sanity. This is one frustratingly difficult title, so it's not for everyone. 
However, once we get the hang of its levels, after dying many, many times, it becomes addicting. The 1930s style is reminiscent of old Visit the Snack Bar animations with their anthropomorphic popcorn and sodas dancing around. Coupled with this cool soundtrack, the game makes for a fun experience whether you are watching someone else die or you are playing yourself. Hack Series Perhaps one of the more underrated titles on the list, the Hack Series consists of three hacker simulators, Hack Run, Hack Run Zero, and Hack Time. They harken back to the days of text adventures, so you can literally run them on anything. The games put players in the shoes of a hacker who receives an offer from a strange employer. The story plays out from a command line prompt as you infiltrate a mysterious corporation snooping on emails, running scripts, and uncovering clues to delve deeper and deeper. The puzzles can be quite challenging at times, requiring a very keen attention to detail. It's very easy to miss clues as the text scrolls off the screen, but diligence pays off, and it's quite satisfying when you crack some of the more security-hardened systems. These games are all worth their very expensive $3 price point. The Half-Life series. Half-Life remains a classic that has been updated and remade on multiple platforms. The first-person shooter puts you in the shoes of Gordon Freeman, a scientist at the research facility known as Black Mesa. Thanks to an experiment gone wrong, Freeman finds himself battling creatures from another dimension. He has to contend with the Combine, a multi-dimensional society of beings that conquered the Earth within seven hours of being unleashed. West of Loathing West of Loathing is a goofy, open-world adventure done up with stick figures. In fact, the whole game looks like a middle school student's art project. But don't let the childish graphics fool you. The game is funny, filled with western cliches that will have you laughing out loud. It plays like a role-playing game, with hand-drawn stat sheets and everything. There are plenty of quests and exploring to keep you busy for a long while. Best of all, though the simplistic graphics we mentioned means the game is likely to run on a potato. Bridge Constructor Portal. In a spin-off to other Bridge Constructor games, Bridge Constructor Portal adds a new element to the recipe, Aperture Science Portals. Your job is to engineer functional bridges and test chambers, and by functional, we mean cars and trucks have to get from one side to the other without it collapsing. Making it all the more complicated is portals that teleport the vehicles from one area to another, often with enough force to topple your structure. The gameplay is basic, but not easy once you reach the higher levels. There's even a cameo by GLaDOS to help you through the tutorial. Not to spoil anything, but there still is no cake. Into the Breach Into the Breach is another strategy title from the makers of FTL. However, this one is turn-based. The plot puts you in control of three mechs from the future pitted against giant bugs called the Vec, which threaten humanity. Battles take place on a grid, with each mech being able to move a certain number of squares and attacks within a turn. The mechs are equipped with different weapons and abilities, so careful thought is required to defeat the enemies faced in each round. The retro graphics are well done and easy on system requirements. Thank you for listening to part one of great games to play on laptops and low and budget PCs. If you like more videos like this, you know what to do. This is YouTube. Click on subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when more videos drop. For more tech news, analysis, and gaming, head on over to techspot.com.